Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a realistic cloud text effect in Photoshop using mostly custom Photoshop brushes. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have files to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is create a new document. So our file is going to be 1920 by 1080. Then I'm just going to use the paint bucket tool and make the background black. Next I'll create some white text. Our text is just going to say clouds. And this effect works best if you're using a nice big bold font. I'm using the font Euro style, but you can use anything as long as it's bold enough. Now this effect relies heavily on the custom cloud brushes that I was talking about, and you can find them in the project files. So I'm going to open my project files folder and click, drag, and drop the ABR brush file into Photoshop to load in the brushes. So if I press B to select my brush tool, you can see that all the brushes have been loaded in. Now I'm going to undock this file and open the brush palette. And then I'm going to create a new layer. And using white, I'm going to select one of my cloud brushes and resize it using the left square bracket key. And I'm just going to stamp right over the text in a few different areas. So if I hide my text layer, you can see what I've done. Obviously it doesn't look like a whole lot yet, but this is the basis of what we're going to be doing. Next I'll create another new layer, and choose my next cloud brush. And using the same technique, I'm going to paint this brush over my text. So you can see that we're getting somewhere now. For each new brush I use, I'm going to create a new layer. That way I can come back and make changes later more easily. You'll also need to rotate your brush so you can paint the vertical strokes, which you can do in the brush palette. Once you're done painting your clouds, you'll see that it looks like the words that you typed using your font. So you can hide your text because you're not going to use it anymore. Now I'm going to select all my cloud layers and right click and convert them to a smart object. And then I'm going to load my background in. You can find this background in the project files. So I'm just going to click and drag that background into my document and hit enter to place it. And then I'm just going to move it down so it's behind my clouds layer. Then I'm going to double click the clouds layer to open the layer style dialog. And give it a drop shadow just to separate it from my background a bit. So I'm using the color black and the blend mode set to linear burn and the distance is set to 2, and I'm going to increase the size all the way up to about 50 or so. And then I'm just going to dial back the opacity to about 15. Since everything is in layers, you can easily swap out the background and do things like adjust the brightness and contrast of each layer. It's a pretty easy effect to achieve, it just takes some time and patience. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.